now we're getting into the nitty gritty of the main components. You know, the scary you know, stuff. This, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that, sure. <laughs> uh, the, the motherboard and the CPU. Um, and now you kind of have a divide. You either have AMD or you have Intel. Um, one is significantly more expensive than the other. You, you get what you, you pay for with the Intel. So what do I want? Uh, you want the Intel, obviously. Uh, <laughs> so that's actually what we ended up uh, uh, picking uh, and making sure that you ended up getting. Uh, to start, what we have is a it's an Asus Z390A Prime uh, motherboard. Um, not only does this uh, support SLI if you wanted to run two graphics cards, uh, but it has four slots to, for, for your memory. Um, it supports up to, I think it's 128 gigs of RAM, which is uh, pretty pretty incredible. And one thing that we ended up doing ahead of time uh, was to connect the power cable to the motherboard because it's so tight up in the top. And then we'll go ahead and mount this right into the case. To install your motherboard to the case, you're going to need to go into that little box that we had, the accessory box. And that's going to have all of the screws that you need in order to mount the motherboard to the case. And if you wanted to add in uh, additional hard drives or anything like that, all of the hardware is in there. Make sure you put in your I.O. panel. I'm so used to them being built on <laughs> these days. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the I.O. panel does not come pre-installed, so you need to put this on to the case before you put the motherboard in. I included in the, the motherboard is this handy dandy connector. Um, it's kind of hard to see all of the little writing and whatnot on it, but it's actually used to add in all of your switches and your speaker that come on the, uh, the case there. So in order to actually turn on the computer, reset it, see the LEDs flashing and that type of thing, you actually need to connect um, wires to the motherboard. If you're having an issue, you know, looking at the motherboard and seeing where the wires go, um, that's what this little block is for. Uh, the little block is actually made to uh, plug all of your wires directly into this block and then plug the block as one unit into the motherboard. 